There's so much going on every day at BCIT. With five campuses, 2,400 employees, and consistently busy schedules, we don't always get to see all the exciting and innovative things our people are working on. In this video series, we're aiming to change that, one team member at a time. Today we'll meet Anthony Chan, Program Head for Biomedical Engineering Technology. This is a profession that's not so well known. So I'm looking forward to having Anthony tell us more about what our students learn. Let's go inside. So I'm here this afternoon with Anthony Chan, Program Head of Biomedical Engineering. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to find out what happens in biomedical engineering because it's a small program, but a critical program for the health sector technology development. And so tell me in a few sentences, what's biomedical okay. engineering all about? So biomedical engineering is applying engineering principles and techniques in medicine and biology. So we graduate student that works in the hospital supporting and servicing medical equipment as well as some of our grad may work in medical devices company to design and develop new medical device and products. We teach students on the basic principles of a lot of equipment, but we also want to use our labs to get the student to get some hands-on experience on medical equipment. And within BCIT, we have ventilators, uh, defibrators, and today we have students doing the medical device lab on electrosurgical unit. So Anthony, what's this all about? Tell me about Okay, so now this is the first part of most of our medical device labs. So they were given a piece of tissue, right? This is a pox heart, and they will try to experience some cutting and coagulation from this uh, piece of device, which is an electrosurgical unit. It cuts the tissues as at the same time, it will also coagulate. So this is a surgical blade, right? Normally, it doesn't do anything, right? But when it's energized uh, with high frequency electrical current, it can do cutting very easily, yeah. right? So it's quite deeply. Yeah, depending on the power and how how, how the surgeon works, right? Uh, this one is a loop. There's a wire. And the idea is if there's a polyp or anything uh, protruding or any, anything that the surgeon wants to remove, you can easily do this with All right. Yeah. I hope um, that the filming is picking up the smoke that's coming up. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's wonderful to have you here, and the, and the work you do is fabulous. So thank you for sharing, and I hope people come in poke at you and say, what, let me in and let me see what's really going yeah, on. Yeah. They can cut a pig's yeah. heart as well. <laughs> Thanks, Anthony, okay, so much. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. BCIT's biomedical engineering program is the only one in BC, supplying the vast majority of our province's biomedical engineering technologists. These students have access to an extensive array of health technology equipment on which to learn giving them hands-on training that prepares them for clinical settings. A great example of interdisciplinary training. 